So a few weeks ago, I read this really interesting article about a landscape photographer who only, or not only, but mostly uses a 50 millimeter prime lens. And that really got me interested in figuring out what would it be like to use a 50 millimeter prime lens primarily for your landscape photography. Most of the time when I think of landscape photography and lenses, I'm thinking the wide angle lenses. When I'm out shooting, I would say probably 80% of the time I'm using, actually probably even closer to 95% of the time, I'm using my 24 to 70 millimeter Nikon lens that's on my Z6. And I would say probably most of the time I'm shooting somewhere between the 24 and maybe that 38, 40 uh, millimeter range. So I thought I'd give this a try to only take photos, landscape, nature photos, using my 50 millimeter prime lens. So. Let's take a look at some of the photos that I took. that I really liked about the challenge of just using my 50 millimeter lens out uh, for landscape and nature photography was the fact that I felt really engaged with my photography. So to get, while well, with my 24 to 70, I can kind of stand maybe in one spot and zoom in and zoom out to get that right focal length. With the 50 millimeter prime, you, you can't do that. You have to use your feet to do that. And so moving forward and backward, backwards to get that length. I felt really engaged with my surroundings and I just found it very enjoyable to actually use use my 50 millimeter and to just kind of really explore different ways of getting that different composition of moving forward and backwards. It just, it felt very engaging. That's what I'm going to say. It felt very engaging to use the 50 millimeter prime. The other thing that was kind of fun was I was thinking about my scenes differently. So. One of the things that I did was some of those panoramic shots. So for those panoramic shots, I used three photos. I did a left or middle and a right. And it's something that I'd never really done before because when I'm with my 24 to 70, I usually I sit there and I'm like, yep, that's my shot. That's going to get that all in. But with the 50 millimeter, it was like, okay, so I can get this here and then I can get this here and then I can get this side over there and then come back home, stitch it together in Lightroom and Photoshop. While I don't necessarily love the panoramic photos that I took yesterday, um, I figure it's kind of a starting off point. Lighting wasn't maybe the best for, you know, panoramic shots. They're nice, but they're not like, oh my gosh, like I want to sell this photo. Um, nice. So um, I'll keep practicing with that technique. One thing that I think is kind of fun with doing a panoramic shot like that is um, all the information, the data that you get with that. If, if you get a good image that maybe you do want to print, you have a really large file size to really maybe print a very large um, photo of that particular image. So that's something that I'm excited to really incorporate a little bit more with the 50 millimeter in my landscape photos is to really start thinking about the panoramic shots and um, work on fine tuning that and maybe hopefully get some better lighting days to go practice that a little bit more. The other thing about the Nifty 50 that I really enjoyed was, I mean, obviously the wide aperture. I was able to get that really nice shallow depth of field with this lens and just really get some really nice bokeh and blurry backgrounds. So that was kind of fun to just like not only think about this lens from the close-up perspective and getting close to my subject and getting that blurry background, which is what I kind of normally think about with the 50 millimeter prime, but then also turn around, stitching photos together to do a landscape. Um, the other thing that I kind of really liked about the Nifty 50 was the shot that I showed on this bridge. So it's, it's really more of an overlook bridge. It's in this place called Quarry Park in Winston-Salem. And it shoots down toward, and it kind of overlooks this old rock quarry that's filled up with water. And then you have some of the buildings in downtown Winston-Salem. And while the lighting's not perfect, it's, you know, it was kind of mid-morning. It was around 10, 11 a.m. It was really 
cloudy day, even though there was some sun, but the sun was behind me. What I liked about that perspective, and especially with the 50 millimeter lens, is when we look, our eyes kind of, the 50 millimeter is close to what our eyes see. If you were to put your hands up on either side, like blinders um, on your eyes and you look forward, that's about the same perspective as you get with the 50 millimeter lens. So it felt very natural when I look at that photo. I hardly had to do any cropping. Um, I did just crop just a hair on one of the sides because there's a little bit of the sky, but honestly, there was hardly any cropping that got done with that photo because I had to move to right where I wanted to and it was how I saw the shot and it's how the picture turned out. So I really liked that photo and that particular perspective and hopefully I can go back again. It's not that far from my house. It's like a 15 minute drive, so it's not that far. So hopefully maybe I can go back when there's some really cool clouds and colors going on. But overall, I actually really enjoyed this challenge of just using my 50 millimeter frame, or 50 millimeter. I really enjoyed using the 50 millimeter lens um, yesterday with my landscape and nature photography. I'm definitely going to try to incorporate the using this lens a little bit more um, when I'm out in the field. I think it's a fun lens. It's a very affordable lens. It is linked in the description below. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna try to keep working and getting better at, with using my 50 millimeter lens. It's kind of a fun challenge to not zoom in and zoom out all the time. So it's definitely a lens that I am glad that I have and I can't wait to get back out there and do some more photos shoots with just my 50 millimeter prime. Um, what I think I'll probably do is maybe sometime in the future is do a part two of this episode of, you know, how I advance with my using my 50 millimeter for landscape and nature photography. So I anticipate there being like a part two months in the future about the 50 millimeter and if I still think it's a kind of a fun lens out there in the field. So anyways, please comment below if you have ever used the 50 millimeter prime lens for landscape photography. If you have, maybe share some tips of what maybe I should try with the 50 millimeter prime lens. Um, I think that would be fun if you kind of give, if you've used it frequently, give me some tips or things that maybe I should try. That would be awesome if you comment below. If you like the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That really helps. And then also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. You'll be able to stay up to date on my photography adventures. And in case you watched last week's video and you wanted to know the status of my Nikon camera, my Z6 that fell in the waterfall, it, for the most part, it is fine. The bottom plate does need to be replaced and I have to do a little bit of extra work to get the battery in and out. But overall, it works fine mechanically. The lens, because I had a lens hood on it, the lens came out unscathed. Happy that that was the worst that happened was just a little bent on the bottom plate. But overall, mechanically it works fine. Phew. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get that replaced here soon. Whether I order a part or send it in, I haven't decided yet. But anyways, that was just a quick little update about my Nikon Z6 that got damaged last week. Um, my leg is very ugly from the bruise from my own falling into the rocks, but it's perfectly fine. It will heal. The bruise will go away. So anyways, to wrap it up, I hope that you, maybe this inspired you to maybe get out there with your 50 millimeter lens if you have one to get out there and um, take some landscape and nature photos using just the prime lens. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I will be back next week. I hope you have a fantastic, rest, a fantastic rest of your day. We'll talk to you later and see you next week. Bye guys.